preparing your emotions for a sophisticated holiday season. Today, we have a special topic to discuss, preparing your emotions for a sophisticated holiday season. As we know, the holidays can be a mixed bag of emotions, right? The pressure to buy, the pressure to go to events, and to be around people who trigger you. That's something that is always gives people anxiety. After watching this video, you'll be prepared for the storm that is the holiday season with a plan for Yuletide sophistication. So let's get right into it. Why is emotional preparation essential during this time of year? Well, for starters, the holiday season can bring a whirlwind of feelings. They can bring joy, they can bring stress, they can bring gratitude, anxiety, you name it. You can get a whole smorgasbord of emotions, if you will. You might be rushing around to buy gifts, uh, attending parties that you really don't want to go to and dealing with family dynamics. And sometimes the thing that really gets people is feeling lonely. So if you're spending your holidays solo, there is a plan that's available for you. So it's a lot to handle. I get it. But don't worry. I've got some fantastic tips to help you sail through the holiday season with emotional resilience. All right. So here's the first one. Tip number one, set realistic expectations. Remember, it's OK for if your holiday doesn't look like a Hallmark movie. I mean, they are a fantasy, right? Those stories can't really happen the way that they do. And they're fun to look at, but they are not reality. Relationships take time. Relationships take trust. And so you don't want to just be with someone for the holiday season for the sake of saying that you're not alone. That's really not a reason to put your emotions in jeopardy because there are certain expectations that happen when you're with someone during the holiday that you may not get what you're looking for. Right. So if you're just kicking it with someone and they just happen to come along during the holiday time, don't expect to have this wild romantic time during the holidays where you can create memories. What I suggest that you do is be realistic. You know, the holiday season is just a commercialized day now. The real true meaning, and we know that the meaning is Jesus. That happens on one day, and it doesn't require all of the hullabaloo and hubbub that we get starting right after Halloween, right? So set the expectations to enjoy that day. Look at the holiday season as a time to relax, a time to get with people who you don't have time to get with the other parts of the year, and a time to really just explore what it is you want for the next year, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. So just have the right expectations. Each celebration is unique. Go, go to those celebrations, go with the flow, embrace the imperfections and don't live in a fantasy for the holiday. Your emotions will appreciate that from you. Here's tip number two, self-care. It doesn't stop just because it's the holiday season. You know, a lot of times people feel like they gotta just run here and do this. No, you need self-care. Make time for yourself during this time. Whether it's a bubble bath, a walk in the crisp air, or if you're where I am in the sunshine, or even just reading a favorite book, but you have to prioritize self-care. It's the way to keep you grounded. It's the way to keep your emotions intact. Okay, don't negate yourself. Just because society demands that there's all of this stuff that you have to do. Take a breather, take a moment, and enjoy this time off, okay? Tip number three, connect. Spend quality time with your loved ones. Don't isolate yourself just because your life isn't exactly like you want it to be. And I know sometimes it can be hard to go around family or go around friends when they seemingly have it all together and you're struggling in some areas. Believe me, they don't have it all together. And just abandon all of that. You know, this is a time to embrace the people that you're connected to. So share your feelings and don't be afraid to ask for support if you need it. You know, if you're really feeling lonely and you're feeling down, reach out to a family member, a loved one, and share some time with them. Connection can be incredibly healing. You know, what is this life if we don't embrace the people that know and love us? And we actually take actions too to do a little bit more to show people how we care about them. 
is so important, especially in around the holiday, okay? So tip number four, and this is very important, is moderation. Moderation. I mean, you can savor all the delicious treats on the holiday and, you know, you just need to indulge with moderation. A balanced diet can help maintain your emotional balance. And I mean, a, a balanced diet, how you consume alcohol, you know, moderation in every aspect. People feel like the holiday season is a time to just let loose and just have reckless abandon. No, not if you really have a plan for your life and you want to harness the emotion so that you can do the thing that you want to do and be the person who you've always wanted to be, you have to operate in moderation. Put your body under subjection. Don't just do what you feel like doing. Think about it. Think about that future you and how that future you needs to live. Okay. And lastly, number five, this is more important than anything else, especially during this time of year. And that's gratitude. Take a moment each day to reflect on what you're grateful for. A gratitude is like an emotional anchor. So during the holiday storm, you need something to get you back grounded. I can't say that enough. Gratitude is the key all year round, but especially this time of year, because we have so much to be grateful for. We can be grateful for our family, our friends, yes, but we should be grateful for the reason that we're even celebrating this season, and that is the birth of Jesus, okay? So being grateful that you even have a life or have family or have events to go to or have people to buy things for or have the food and surroundings where you could even have the potential to overindulge. You know, you're doing so much better than a lot of people in this world. So you should be grateful and have gratitude and show your gratitude. So I hope these tips help you not only survive, but truly enjoy the holiday season emotionally and sophisticatedly prepared for what's going to happen and what you may feel. Remember, it's about the moments, the people, and the love that you share during this time. But be before we go, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And share your thoughts and comments below. What was your favorite part of the holiday season? What, what is it? What, what are you anticipating? And then wishing you a warm and emotionally prepared holiday season. I hope you have a blast. Okay, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.